Hello people, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, we are going to be making this granny stitch oversized throw on cardigan. It's quite easy and very fast to make. I was surprised how fast I could make this. It is easy even for beginners. You'll be able to make this and I think it's perfect for this weather. It's not so heavy. So for this autumn, it's really perfect. And yeah, I already made um, a hat for it, matching hat. You can check it out on my channel. Yeah, you should be able to make this whole set. Uh in this tutorial, I'll be making size extra small stroke small size, but I'll be giving you different measurements for different sizes so that you can be able to make it in a medium, in a large and extra large and XXL. Um, yeah, you will need about 13 skeins of yarn for this. This is what I used for this small size. 13 skeins, 50 grams each. And yeah, so for the bigger sizes, you should get more. So this is what we are going to need. Yeah, for the yarn, I used acrylic yarn, 100%. This is from Volidu. I got this on, um, on Amazon, right? And as you can see, it was made in Agnes Street or something, and I loved that. I guess that's why I bought it. <laughs> but yeah, so for the hook size, it uh, recommends 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter hook, but I'll be using a 4.0 millimeter hook. So it's medium weight yarn. You can also use DK weight yarn, and of course, you'll need scissors and a tape measure. So this is how we are going to work this cardigan. We are going to start with the back panel, which starts from the foundation chain right here. So we'll start the foundation chain for the back panel right down here. And then we'll work our granny stitch all the way up to how much length you want it to be, how long you want it to be. And then we work the front panels once we are done with the front the front panels, then we'll work the sleeves. And once we are done with the sleeves, we'll join everything together like this on the sides together with the sleeves. All right. So once we are done with that, then we will do the ribbing as the final touch. All right. So let's begin on the back panel. I'm just going to take my yarn. And for the size extra small, and small we are going to chain a total number of chains equivalent to 20 inches so make 20 inches of chain for medium and large we are going to make 22 inches of chain and for extra large and xxl we are going to make 24 inches of chain keep in mind that this once we start working on the rows this increases a bit all right, so I have my 20 inches of chain. This is if you're working an extra small or a small size. 20 inches of chain. I did not count my chains, okay? Just do 20 inches of chain, right? Keep in mind that once we start working the first row and the second row and the third row, this might increase by about three or four inches, All right? So I have my 20 inches of chain. Let's start on row one. So I'm going to chain two more extra chains like that. Then yarn over, skip the first two chains. In the third chain, I will make a double crochet. Like this. Yarn over, go into the same stitch and make your second double crochet. Then you're going to make a third double crochet into that very same stitch. Okay, so this very chain, we've made three double crochets. All right. So you're going to chain one. Then you're going to yarn over. Skip two chains. Okay, one, two. Then into the third chain, you are going to make three double crochets. Skip two chains, go into the third chain, make three double crochets in that very same chain. So this is my second double crochet. And into that very same chain, I'll make my third double crochet. So we are making clusters of three double crochets. Chain one, then skip two chains. And into the third one, make three 
double crochets that is two and that is three we are making them in one chain then you're going to chain one skip two chains and into the third chain make three double crochets chain one skip two chains and then make a three double crochets in one chain so you now see the pattern so it is three double crochets chain one skip two three double crochets chain one skip two like that until we get to the end i'll meet you at the end so i've come to the end of row one this is how it looks so far okay so i have my last cluster that i need to make so i'll skip two and then go into the third one and make three double crochets as you can see i never count chains so i have one you know extra one i'll just leave that alone doesn't really make a big difference so i'll leave it alone so now we're going to work row two okay so you see how we will work to row one this is how it should look like i hope you didn't make your foundation chain so tight otherwise it will look funny it should be loose so for row two we are going to chain two and three we are chaining three for this row for this row two and we are going to skip here this first cluster and go into the chain space and make three double crochets so you chain three skip the first cluster go into the first chain one and make three double crochets okay then you're going to chain one skip the next cluster and work into the chain space so we are working in the chain space make three double crochets then we are going to chain one go into the next next chain space and make three double crochets chain one and repeat the pattern until we get to the end of the row i'll see you there so i'm coming to the end of the row and i'm going to chain one work my last cluster here in this chain space right i put my three double crochets in this chain space but what we have the last is a cluster so i will chain one and what i will do is i'll go on top of the chain two that we made in the first row here and make a double crochet you get that please note this so we make a double crochet in this last one it is on top of the previous chain two so we have our two rows please take note of how we begin the rows and how we end the rows okay so next we are going to chain one okay only one right and then we're going to turn our work and since we don't have a cluster instead we have a chain space as our first stitch here what will we do we are going to put a cluster in that chain space so I'm going to make three double crochets in this chain space and we made a cluster there so we chain one skip the cluster and then go into the next chain space and make three double crochets chain one go into the next chain space make three double crochets and we are going to repeat this until we get to the end i'll meet you at the end so that i can show you one more last time how we are starting and ending our rows 
because it's a repeat of row row two and row three okay i meet you here so i'm coming to the end as you see at the end i have chain space so i will chain one and here at the end where i have my chain space i will make a cluster so that's one double crochet that's my second double crochet but my third double crochet instead of putting it in the chain space i'll put it on top of the chain there on top of the chain too just so that my work is straight okay i want my work to be straight like this so i'll put a double crochet on top of the chain too like that so you see how we ended row two how we started row two and how we started row three and how we ended them please note that okay so the next one we are going to chain three because we have a cluster okay so there's why we're chaining one and we are chaining three so we have a cluster so we'll skip that and work in the first chain space by inserting three double crochets so you see the difference it's this row here is the same as this row here and then row three and row one are also the same okay so you are going to be just alternating these rows row three and row two row three and row two row three and row two until you get to the height of the sweater of the height of the cardigan that you desire i did 28.5 inches yeah so you could want longer you could want shorter because i'm five zero i'm quite short so keep that in mind all right keep repeating these rows and i'll meet you once you have the height of your cardigan not how we begin and end the rows not how we begin and end those two rows it will be a repeat so i'm done with my so many rows and i have 28.5 inches long like i mentioned i'm five zero if you're taller please make it longer depends on what you like okay so we are going to do the front panels like you see i already put my stitch markers and i'm going to show you how to do that so the neckline is going to be eight inches all right for the neckline for all sizes we are leaving eight inches okay so eight inches is our neckline like i said earlier my it, it will increase from 20 that we started with to something else and for me it increased from 20 to about 24 okay so what i will do is i get my 24 inches that i have at the top and then subtract eight eight is what we are doing for our neckline okay what is 24 minus eight i remain with 16 inches okay 24 minus eight is 16 so what I have remaining, I will divide it by 2. These are 8 inches, right? From 16 to 24 is 8 inches. So what I have remaining, I'll just divide by 2. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. So on my both sides, front panels will be 8 inches. 8 inches on the other front panel. And of course, the middle the neckline is 8. So it depends on what you have subtract eight from it and then the remainder divide by two so if measure from here to here you could have 30 30 minus two that is uh, i mean 30 minus eight is 22 22 divided by two is uh 11 so the panels maybe will be 11 11 so it depends on what you have at the end of it all so i put my stitch markers here eight i took away eight also this side should be you know eight inches and then I just counted the stitches and I want them to be the same number for both this panel and this panel. Is that clear? Then we don't work in the middle. So we will start working one panel and then once we are done, we'll cut the yarn and then reattach to the other panel. Okay, so for this panel, I'm just going to go turn my my work work just the way we've been working same pattern until i get to where i have my stitch marker where i want my neckline to start is that clear it's not hard math really just take the measurements so i'm um, where my stitch marker is i started here 
and um, where my stitch marker is which should be my neckline and I will just chain one take off my stitch marker and I will work a double crochet in the end here okay so this is my row one of my first front post front uh, panel so i will chain one since i have uh, a chain space here and then i'll work my three double crochets so it's just the same pattern we are now working it on a smaller piece so chain one work three double crochets in the next one and until i get to the end of the row okay here i'll see you there and i'm at the end of the row this is going to be my two double crochets in the chain space and then my third one on top of the chain two just to make this line straight so i'm going to work my third row of the front panel and i chain three skip the cluster and work my three double crochets in the first chain space and basically this is the pattern once you're done with this side so you're going to do the exact same number of rows as your back panel exact same number of rows as your back panel once you get to the bottom cut your yarn reattach the yarn on the other side where you have the stitch marker work from side to side side row to row row to row until you have the same number of rows go all the way down right same number of rows as the back panel right go all the way down once you're done cut the yarn you'll then come back reattach the yarn here and work the same number of rows for this other panel we have two front panels then it should be the same number of rows as your back panel okay count the number of rows i'll meet you when you have two so i have my two front panels as you can see same size same number of rows as the back panel uh, yeah so we are going to work the sleeves i already worked one of my sleeves but i will show you how to do that and this is how it should be looking for you now of course minus the sleeve so after a while i realized i shot my footage and i couldn't find it really and i'm so sorry i didn't find the, sh the footage for how i did the sleeve the first part of the sleeves but you see what i have on the right where i have my stitch markers the white stitch markers on the right this is how you're going to lay your your piece so i will explain it like this we have the the back panel lying like this we have the two front panels lying straight like this okay so what we will do is we are going to get here where we have where we started our front panels and back panels right then you're going to make seven inches then put a stitch marker start from here to there measure seven inches and put a stitch marker okay seven plus seven is 14 so both at the back and the front you should have 14 inches but when you measure from where you started your front panel and where you started your back panel it should be seven seven inches i don't know whether it makes sense because now our sleeve is going to go like that all right so if you're making a bigger size then add an inch to that so it should be like maybe 7.5 7.5 or you can do eight inches eight inches actually do eight inches eight inches on the one side eight inches on the other side so for us seven and seven and i also lost the footage for how i started this single crochet row so i'm just going to explain it so this is where we had our stitch markers here right and here all right so from here to there is 14 inches so i just reattached my yarn where i have my stitch marker here put a, a single crochet in this row here and then i went into the chain space put two single crochets then i went into this row where we have the three i put two chain two single crochets two single crochets here two single crochets here two single crochets in the chain space two single crochets where we don't have the chain two single crochets where we have the chain Two single crochets where we don't have the chain two single crochets so i'm working two single crochets in every row from where we have our first stitch marker to where we have our last stitch marker okay 
at the end of it all i have 14 inches okay so we are working single crochets two single crochets in each row okay two single crochets here two single crochets here in the chain space i hope i explain it well but you should be able to get it it's not complicated so i've come to the end of the row this is where i'll have my next stitch marker so i'll just leave it take it out sorry and put my last single crochet here so now we are going to the next row which is a row of the granny stitch so the single crochets were just to even it out to give you you know to clean it out so that it's not looking weird and we know where to work our chains i mean our uh, clusters so i chained two and in this first one i'm going to make three double crochets to make just my first cluster so this is going to be like how we started the, at the beginning so i'm going to chain one then i'm going to skip two stitches and into the third stitch i'll make a cluster of three double crochets in the same stitch then chain one skip two into the third stitch i'll make three single crochets I'm sorry that I lost that footage, but just go back, slow it down, and see how I maneuvered that. From now on, it's the same pattern like we did for the front panels and the back panels. So do that until you have your sleeve ready. I think I did about 19 inches. Then go ahead and do the second sleeve. And I'll meet you once we are going to, you know, sew everything together. Okay? All right? okay so i have my sleeves ready and this is 19 inches this is how much i want how long i wanted it to be i wanted it to be to be able to fold it sometimes like in the in the pictures or just let it and i didn't want to put a ribbing on the sleeve so i made 19 inches long okay you can make it shorter you can make it longer depends on you like i said i'm a short person so if you're tall you might want to do about 20 22 inches okay so now we are going to fold it like this so that we are able to sew it together okay so put it together like this this will be our sleeve here these are front panels okay like this and we're going to sew all the way like this and then down to the armpits and then all the way down okay but we are going to sew on the wrong side so fold it on the wrong side so once you have it on the wrong side when this you decide which one you want to be the wrong side okay okay so we are going to sew like this all the way all the way down not sew, but you know stitch it together we are going to use single crochets for this anyway so Let's do our row of single crochets, joining these two parts together from the sleeve all the way to the bottom of the cardigan. So I'm just going to pull through this. Okay, now I'm going to go into this row and make two single crochets. So it's the same like we did before the sleeve. The single crochet thing that I missed the, the, the video. So into this space, I'll make two single crochets like this and then I go into this row here and I make two single crochets and I will go into this row next I'll make two single crochets we are working both in the front panel and the back panel and then I'll go into this one and make two single crochets Go into the next row, make two single crochets. And it's two single crochets in every row. From the start to the finish. Of course, once you get to the underarm, you will make an extra stitch for that corner. All right, so do this and 
once you're done with this side then you'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side cut off the yarn do the same thing for the other side and you should have your cardigan and then we'll just have to do the ribbing after that right go all around till here corner go around until the bottom okay so i am done and once i'm at the end chain one cut your yarn yeah like that this is how it looks this will be on the wrong side now and this should be the right side so this is how it looks okay so you should be able to do the other side too so when you turn it the right way you should have something looking like this okay it's not so visible right yeah do the other side too so turn it the wrong side fold it nicely reattach your yarn here and then work like this all the way to the bottom and once you're done come we do the ribbing all right so this is what i have so far and this is how it looks on the wrong side okay so we have our sleeves ready we have everything ready we just have to do the ribbing okay so that was easy right so we're going to start from one side, go all the way around, you know, up until we get back to the other side. Okay, around like this, go up around the neckline, then all the way down, excuse me, and back and back and back. So let's reattach our yarn. And we're going to work on the right side. So whichever you want to be, I mean, <laughs> you already know your right side. So we are working on the right side. So I'm going to chain three. And in this very first stitch, I'll make a double crochet. So we're going to make a row of double crochets first. Then I'm going to go into this chain space. And make one double crochet. And then I'm going to make three double crochets. That's one, that's two, in the next three double crochets, like this. So it depends on how the pattern was. You know, here we were skipping one stitch. So I'm, I'll just do one double crochet and then in three double crochets into the next double crochets, the clusters. All right, like this. Then one double crochet in the chain space. This is for where we have the front panel and it will change when we get to the back panel, okay? So I am done with the front panel, but now when we get to the back panel, it kind of changes because it's, it, you know, they are facing in a different direction. So this is how we'll do it here. Where we have these three, I will make two double crochets in there. And where we have this chain two that we were skipping in the first uh, step. So I'll make two double crochets. So where we have this cluster here facing up, I'll go into this chain space and make two double crochets. And I'll go into this chain two here and make two double crochets. Then I'll go into this chain with a cluster and make two double crochets. Two double crochets okay and then go into the chain space and make two double crochets 
so you get the difference for the back panel they are facing up because this is where we started with the foundation chain but for the front panel they're facing down because that's how where we ended all right so they it's kind of different so do that until you're done with the back panel once you get to the other side of the front panel then you will do it like we did it at first for the you know here so once you get this is the last one so once you get back here it is only one in the chain space and then three double crochets in top of those one then three okay i'll meet you here okay so i'm i'm done with the bottom okay so we are done with the bottom right now we are going to do upwards so upwards is going to be different also so for this corner I'm going to insert the double crochets in these chains. So that's one, that's two, and that's my third double crochet in the third chain. And now we will work this other side like we were working that the single crochets. Okay, so in this row here let me just put one last one here okay so in this row here we are going to work two double crochets on this chain row that is next we will work two double crochets in this chain space okay so here we work two two double crochets in this row and we go into the next row and work two double crochets. Go into the next stitch, work two double crochets. And then go into the next stitch, work two double crochets like that. So it's going to just be a repeat. Here I did four in this corner. Okay. So go all around. To the neckline all around until you get back to where we started at the bottom okay once you get here you see what to do it is one and then three okay and then you get back to the other side in this corner you can of course put a stitch here once you get to the other side you are then again working with two in one row until here so so i came all the way and realized i also didn't re record this part i I, re I remember recording it i just lost the footage so it is basically front post and back post i do this ribbing in every cardigan sweater tutorial that i do pants everything i do this ribbing so you should know how to do this ribbing by now front post and back post i'll just show you a little bit of it but i didn't record the previous row so it's just like this go under with a hook like this it's a front post go into the next stitch with a hook over it then that's a back post then go into with a hook like this make a front post and then a back post is like this okay so this is a front post and then a back post and you just go round and round and round and round and round with front post and back post front post back post until you have i think i did a total number of three rows without counting the double crochet row so once you're done with the double crochet row then the next row should be back post and front post front post and back post front post and back post front post and back post and then go round and round until you have the ribbing the size of the ribbing that you want okay i'll add just one more row i'm sorry that i lost so much footage in this tutorial i don't know how that happened it's either I was placing record and it wasn't recording that's what i think and i got to realize too late okay i am editing and looking for the stuff and i can't find it so this is where we're beginning and ending the rows. So I have, so once you're done, just, you know, slip stitch and cut off your yarn. And this is what I have. I did three front post and back posts, then plus the double crochet that makes it four rows of ribbing. Okay. This is how it should look like. 
please go to any of my other videos i use this ribbing so much then cut off your yarns sew in your ends and you should have a cardigan okay this is how it should look once it's done it's quite easy simple and very fast please share with your friends so they can be able to make it because it's you know yeah who wouldn't want to own this <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i hope you like it um yeah this is how it looks on me go watch the tutorial for the heart you know it's it's a pretty heart i know because i wear it a lot so go watch this tutorial and i'll see you in my next video right thank you so much for watching please share like and peace bye